What's up guys, the Penthes here and welcome back to another so rare video. Today guys, we are breaking down the game week 292 lineups, giving you my review on what I think is going to be good for my teams and what are my throwaway teams and uh, some of the more punty teams that have some potential. A little, little, little strategy change for this week. I, I kind of reduced my lineups by two and I went for a little bit more of the underdog um side of things especially for super rare which i've got for the first time ever two official super rare lineups out which is amazing they're not the best but you know we move and uh yeah hopefully give you guys some insight on why i do what i do with my teams of course if you guys are enjoying the content you want to drop a thumbs up it would be very much appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you do want to get into so rare they of course have baseball now as well which at this moment in time i haven't put any time into and i know nothing about but if you are into baseball into fantasy into football into nfts and into crypto sign up with so rare with the link down below of course nothing i say here is financial advice and uh always do your own research because if you don't you get burnt trust me i've been burnt on this site a few times because i didn't know what i was doing however here are the lineups and what i believe their chances to be we've got all-star limited with steve clark in goal Douglas Santos, Haney Mukhtar, Ladero, and Fafa Picolt. So obviously Santos and Mukhtar are premium scorers. Uh, Clark is a very good goalkeeper, but he's away to Philadelphia Union, who are an exceptional team at the moment. Uh, same as Fafa Picolt. Obviously he plays for um, Houston Dynamo as well. So uh, kind of hoping for a Houston upset. And then Ladero is a very good scorer, but again, away to LA Galaxy. Obviously LA have now got Chiellini and Gareth Bale. They're a much better team. He definitely has the capabilities to get some good scores. I'm kind of expecting a tier three-ish, maybe a tier two at best out of this team, unless Fafa and Clark can pull something out of the bag and then potentially a tier one or better. But I'm not really expecting too, too much out of this five. We've then got our all-star rare lineup. Now, this is a bit of a weird one because I've got some players in here that don't belong in here for the most part. One of those is Wilson Isidore, who generally speaking will be in my under 23 or under 23 rare pro team. Uh, we've got Carlos Hill, Zimmerman, Wagner and Callender. Now, Callender is a quality keeper. And he's up against Cincinnati this time around. He hasn't had actually... Oh, this is the old scoring matrix. The new scoring matrix is a little bit better. Nothing too, too major. Um, he is just a good keeper. You know, at home, Cincinnati are good scorers. Uh, Brenner and... Uh, Brenner, Brenner. Brenner. Brenner and Brenner and Vasquez. Just bangers. Uh, Kai Wagner, an absolute massive winner from the new, um, the new matrix, the new scoring matrix. But even in the old scoring matrix, still... A bagsman, he's got a lot of decisives in him, a lot of good scores. And Philadelphia Union, as I said, they're a good team. They're against uh, Houston Dynamo. So it's kind of like if Wagner does well, Clark won't. But um, hopefully he gets uh, on the score sheet. Zimmerman is finally, finally getting back to the scores that he used to have way back when. When we throw back to these seasons here and uncheck the old Matrix. He scored... Wait, what happened when I checked that Matrix there? And he got a lot of zeros there. Jesus, what happened in those games? Um, maybe it was like a positive and a negative decisive, but the negatives didn't stack. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, either either way, um, you know, he used to hit good, good scores consistently. He's finally getting back to that uh, kind of uh, run of run of results. Carlos Hill, due a decisive. And the reason why Isidore is in my all-star rare team is because Locomotive are against Zenit. It's a really tough matchup away from home. He still has that potential to get a decisive in him. But I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. So th this is a team that does have the potential. It's, it's not like a, a banker team, that's for sure. It does have the potential for the tier two, tier one sort of um, rewards. But mostly I'm looking for like threshold and then potentially a tier three um, if we're lucky. We've then got All-Star Rare Pro, which is a complete punters team. Uh, we've got, again, Clark in goal. Schultz in defense. I only have one super rare. Schultz might not even play. He's one of the people that is, uh, you know, projected to have had covid and uh, might not even be playing for the aurora reds this weekend uh christian lima being the only um only super rare and then johnny russell at home but to austin who are top of the table at the moment i do believe and mihailovic at home to new york who are also very very high up in the table so some real tough matchups for the goalkeeper and the two forwards and then schultz might not play so a full punty team here i don't expect anything from all-star rare pro we have got my favourite team of the week, though, and that is the All-Star Super Red. Johnson and Callens away to Montreal. And Montreal, no joke, that's for sure. They've had a, a bit of a resurgence recently. 
But Johnson and Callens are very good and, and they both seem to perform way better when Tiago Martins is in the team and he's now been back for a few games and in that few games that he has been back has been where Sean Johnson has started picking up his clean sheets again, uh, which is really, really nice. Obviously, the new Matrix benefits jo Johnson massively, but in the old Matrix, he scores well as well. Darlington Nagbe is absolutely due his uh, one in six decisive. Uh, he did get 61 points in the last game with no decisive, which is brilliant, a fantastic AA. But yeah, traditionally speaking, it's like every sixth game or so, he gets a decisive, and so he's due. So away to Charlotte, uh, a favorable matchup for Columbus Crew, uh, a favorable matchup for Darlington Nagbe. We've got Michael Bradley away to the Revs. Now, the Revs aren't amazing defensively, um, and I don't know, I, I know Toronto just had the f cup final, the Canadian cup final in midweek. Uh, so, you know, traveling as well, maybe Insigne and Bernadeschi don't play. But even if they don't play, Michael Bradley is a quality super rare, not worldly tier. And unless I feel like, unless Insigne and Bernadeschi are playing, then I feel like Bradley has way more potential to be a top, you know, a, a premium scorer. And then Brandon Vasquez away to into Miami. I think that's a great great matchup for him you know as I say I've got the goalkeeper from Inter Miami but Brandon Vasquez in that super rare team I've got hopes for this team I know it's really competitive in the super rare division because everyone here has just got mad teams but I feel like on on its day this team it's got the potential to hit me a reward which would be nice we've got Challenge Europe Limited which is a throwaway team we've got Pestikov, Munoz, Rafaelov, Peters and Sobolev I haven't done too much research about whether these guys are starting, whether they're expected to play much, what kind of form they've been in in preseason or anything. But this is just a thrown together team of stuff I had left. We then got probably my favorite team at the moment, and that is the Challenger Europe Rare Pro. It's right up there with the Super Rare team for me. We've got Akin Fave away, but favorable matchup. Favreau away, but also quite a favorable matchup against uh, Viborg. Uh, we've got Christian Bruls away to Ghent. That's a tough game, but Bruls is a quality player. We've got Vanneken away as well, but to UPenn, and UPenn are not a good team. And then Hatate at home to Aberdeen. Uh, so I've heard from my Celtic fans, um, he has been on fire in preseason. All of these guys have massive potential and huge upsides. Vanneken obviously has that 80 plus points, especially against the UPenn in him. Hatate has that 80 plus points in him. Vavro has it in him. Akinfeev has that 70 plus, and Barouz has that 50 to 60 plus. If everything comes good here, I reckon we could hit a tier one or better with this team. I'm excited for it. We've got Champion America Rare Pro, which I'm also excited for. Steve Clark in goal. Thiago Martins in defense with Haney Mukhtar captained at home to the Whitecaps. And the Whitecaps are just not very good, to be fair. We've got Mark Delgado away to Dallas and Carlos Vela at home to the Seattle Sounders. Um, you know, Vela obviously on fire right now. And especially with Bale and Chiellini in the team now, um, I expect even better things. From him, we've got a Legends Challenge, which was just my kind of trash left that didn't fit anywhere else. Sol Yong Vu, probably the only premium player in there with Diego Maradona. Lapalainen has the odd, um, the odd performance here and there where he gets a decisive and uh, or a good AA, but nothing too major. Hilarious, isn't it? That the one time he actually got a decisive, he also had his best AA as well. Um, uh, yeah, and then Delbridge, I don't know anything about him. Kim Young Kwang is probably the worst goalkeeper on so rare, so we don't expect much. Specialist Limited is interesting. We have got Rafael Romo. Um, it is possible he doesn't start. Uh, so I hear that with Wayne Rooney taking over now, uh, Rooney's going to give the youth goalkeeper the chance. So I don't know if that'd be this game week or the next. We've got Gressel just transferred to the Whitecaps in here. Boxall, who's got massive upside potential, the same as Zalarian and Hernandez. They both have massive upside potential. So hopefully... Uh, you know, in specialist, you don't need it to be crazy, crazy to go uh, to go nice. But yeah, if Boxall, Zalarian and Chitarito can score well, got some potential here. But I'm not expecting too, too much from this team. We've then got under 23 rare. And the game, uh, Huddersfield against Burnley has kicked off. Murich is on 34.9 currently. Although in the new Matrix, he'd be on a little bit more than that. Um, and uh, yeah, seven minutes in, no shots, a lot of possession from Burnley so far. I'm, I'm tempted to pick up Taylor Harwood Bellis super rare. Um, he's not on the market at the moment. It probably cost me about, I want to say about 2 ETH, maybe 2.5 ETH. What was the last one selling for? Last one sold for 0.6 ETH, but that was six months ago. So there's not, they're, they're, they're scarce, you know. Uh, but because I've got Murich, having Murich and Harwood Bellis super rare playing in rare pro would be real nice. But Murich is a quality keeper. Utkin is on fire and at home with a super favorable matchup. 
Sesco is away, but a super favorable matchup. Jesus Ferreira is at home where he does get a lot of decisives, even though LA Galaxy are quite good. And Koga, I mean, he, he's, he's good. He's a consistent scorer. He does have a large upside if things go right. He can also hit in that mid 40s to low 50s, which wouldn't be ideal. But I'm very excited about my under 23 rare. We then got the underdog limited, um, Farrell, Barrow, Nuts, and Gonzalez. Again, a bit of a, a team of just guys I had lying around, not really too much focus put on this team. If this comes together, great, but I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. And then the underdog rare. So I hear this week, Guillaume is going to be playing. Um, you know, Kudjakov had uh, a pretty poor like, game, the first game, where he, I, I feel like he could have done better with the goal they conceded. But then in the second game, made an absolute howler. Um, so it is expected that Guillaume will be starting this time around. Vidal has got his first minutes for Flamengo, so hopefully he'll be starting as well. Cirillo regularly starts the home games for Dallas, but I, he's mostly going to be a sub. Uh, and then Seco does start for um, Grasshopper as well. Again, a reasonable scorer, nothing too major, but that's why this is underdog, right? This could go horribly wrong, and that would be expected. That's why they're the underdogs. Or it could go incredibly right. And that would be amazing. And then last but not least, we have got my second super rare team. And it is the underdog super rare. So uh, the reason why I picked this team like here is because I genuinely believe I was going to play under 23 rare pro and use uh, Austin Trusty and rare pro and either Etai Tinga or Brandon Vasquez. The reason why I went with this team here is because if Guillermo does start, it will be a huge option opportunity for him to get a lot of AA. You know, Zenit are a very good squad and likely to score some goals, but Guillaume has the ability to get very good AA. Austin Trusty will be making his debut for Birmingham. From what I understand, he's had a really good preseason. He started their last preseason game. The manager's been heaping praise on him since he's been at Birmingham. Birmingham aren't the best squad, but do expect and hope that Trusty will start and uh, get some minutes and get some points. Chiellini has been fantastic in the time that he's actually spent on the field so far. 53 uh, total score. Uh, let's turn it to the uh, current matrix. 53 total score in 60 minutes at centre-back there. And then 49.3 in 45 minutes at centre-back there. This will be his first home game against the Sounders. I would like to hope he will be playing 90 minutes because of that. We will have to wait and see. Um, but, uh, oh damn, we're down to that 33.9. That possession loss, man. I can't wait till they change it, man. I can't wait till they change it. Right now, he would have, like, what, a half a point there and a half a point there. It'd actually only be 0.1 points negative, wouldn't he? Um, but, yeah, so Chiellini uh, has that massive upside potential. And then Etai Tinga, um, Servet are not the best club in the Swiss League. Etai Tinga at home for Sion. He hasn't hit a decisive yet, early, uh, you know, first couple of games of the season. And he is an underdog. He is a sort of striker that doesn't really get many decisives, doesn't do all that much very often. But this would be the game. In fact, if you look at his previous decisives, his last goal was against Servet. His decisive before that was Basel St. Gallen and then Servet again. So he's got a little bit of history there, a little bit of history in the last uh, 12 months against Servet. I completely uh, accept and understand this as a punters team. But should Guillaume start, he, Chiellini, and Esotenga actually have a huge up, uh, upside for scoring. And then Trusty is kind of the only anomaly here that I just don't know anything about. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be watching this, this lineup I'm kind of like excited about because it's just got everything written in it, right? It could fail spectacularly. It could hit massively. We could have a few monster scores and a few tankers. We'll learn a lot from it. But those are my lineups for this upcoming game week. I hope that I'm going to be blessed with some, uh, some good scorers and some good rewards. Hopefully you guys have a good game week too. That is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.